Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for our monthly tarot reading, and this will be for March 2016. This will be for the sign of Cancer. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. At the beginning of the month, we'll take a card from the top. For the middle of the month, we will take a card from the center. And for the end of the month, we will take the card from the bottom. Okay, and what do we have here, Cancer? Well, start the month out with the Two of Wands. Okay, and there's two wands. A very peaceful look in the background. A, like a bluish gray sky. We have a lot of greenery on the side. And when I look at this card, what I get from Spirit, what really really stands out to me is we have to make a choice. Uh, the number two signifies a decision between two options. Okay, and we have to make a choice between several options, maybe more than two. And for some reason, we just can't seem to decide. Okay, we feel kind of lethargic, uh, but yet we feel pressured to make this decision, maybe feel a little exhausted in the beginning of the month, and we just don't have the energy, okay, in order to make a decision at this point and, and, and choose what path we're going to take. And it's possible that, you know, maybe our heart isn't completely into it, maybe we're doing something half-heartedly -hearted, and, and not being able to really take a stand on what it is that, that we want to decide upon. You we're kind of on the fence. Okay, you're kind of feeling neutral. You're just deciding in the beginning of the month that you just can't choose. And maybe that's the best thing to do is, is, is not choose. Maybe that's the more appro appropriate approach to take. Okay, but if it's something that's weighing on you, then I really think you do need to make a decision on whatever it is. But you're kind of stuck with indecision in the beginning of the month. And you're kind of juggling the, the possibilities back and forth in your head, maybe weighing the pros and cons about something that's really been bothering you. Let's see how the other cards line up for this month of March. We have the King of Wands. Okay, doesn't he look serious? Okay, that King of Wands has a, a look of determination on his face. Very, very serious look. He's looking outward. Okay, and... Very determined look. He probably he's probably still thinking about what's going on in the beginning of the month. That he's he's kind of at a standstill. It looks like he's still lost in his thoughts. He's really lost in his head at this point. Okay, and I know Cancer, you're a very very emotional sign. You do live within your emotions. Okay, and in this sense, maybe it's your emotions that are you know were maybe getting in the way in the beginning of the month that's making you go back and forth with you know whatever options you have to choose but this king is a very strong-willed and it's an assertive kind of person okay and he does not allow anybody to sway his decision he has a mind of his own you could tell by that determined stare that's a strong strong stare okay he's a, he's a very dynamic person and a lot of people find, they find themselves drawn to him. He's somebody that you would admire. He's very charismatic. You know, he, he looks like the kind of person that would be a leader, not a follower. And he's the kind of person that would put big plans into action. He knows just how to go about it. So maybe this is a person in the middle of the month that you know or maybe will enter your life to maybe help you make this decision. Okay, or maybe this is you. You finally come to understand what it is that you want. After thinking back and forth at the beginning of the month, maybe you finally decided, like this king, what you want and what you need to do to go for it. You've maybe made up your mind. Or this may be someone who comes along and maybe helps you with your decision. And this is a person, you know, that you can trust their advice. Because it would be someone that you would admire and look up to. So you would take their advice seriously. Or, like I said, this could possibly be you in the middle of the month where you finally figure out what you want. And then, at the end of the month, okay, even though we look stubborn and stuck in our ways, looks like here at the end of the month, we have the Six of Wands. 
So when we look at the Six of Wands, we're wrapping up the month with this energy, okay, that's successful. So whatever it is that you've done, okay, you went after it, okay, and you were successful. So it was the right decision, okay? You were having a tough time in the middle of the month. You maybe got yourself straightened out and found out what you wanted to do and went after it or had someone help you or guide you to make your decision, okay? But at the end of the month, whatever it is, it worked out, okay? You were very successful, okay? And basically, it's a sign of victory, okay? And, and a sign of some type of recognition, too. So whatever it is, it sounds to me like you make the right decision for everyone involved, Okay, so enjoy the success that you have at the end of the month. Okay, but don't, you know, boast about it. Don't brag so much about it because that's only going to draw unwanted attention to you. You're going to get the recognition that you deserve just by the actions that you took. So you don't necessarily have to be verbal about it. People are going to recognize you. They're going to realize your victory. Okay, but we don't want you to excessively like I said, boast about it. Even though you're excited and you're very emotional, um, you know, kind of keep it low key, but know that whatever it is, your decision is going to be right, spot on. It's going to be the right one. You will be recognized for it. You will be victorious at the end of the month. Great way to end the month. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be back.